Within this lesson, we'll use visual models to add and subtract two fractions with the same units. Let's work with 4 fifths minus 3 fifths. Let's use a number line. We'll start with our whole numbers, 0 and 1. And since we're working with fifths, we'll go ahead and divide our number line into fifths, or five parts. Let's label our number line. And this says that we're going to go four fifths and subtract three fifths. So we'll start with four fifths and place four fifths onto that number line. Now, if we are going to subtract three fifths, then we would move to the left on our number line and we're going to move three fifths to the left. So we start at four fifths. Count with me one fifth, two fifths, three fifths. So I started at four fifths again and I subtracted three fifths. So I end up at one fifth. And then as you see right there, that I write that out, that I subtracted three fifths. So four fifths minus three fifths does give us one fifth. Four fifths minus three fifths does equal one fifth. If I was to write that out using numbers, it would be 4 fifths minus 3 fifths does equal 1 fifth. So this is the subtraction sentence here. 4 fifths minus 3 fifths equals 1 fifth. Let's work through another problem. Here we have 3 eighths plus 2 eighths. So you'll notice we have an addition problem this time. We'll start with our area model, and again, in this instance, we're going 3 eighths and adding 2 eighths, so we will start with our whole numbers of 0 and 1. Since we're a unit this time, it's eighths, we'll divide our number line into 8 parts. There I have force. Carefully mark that out, then I'll have eighths. I'll go ahead and label my number line. 0, 1, 8, 2, 8, 3, 8, 4, 8, 5, 8, 6, 8, and 7, 8. Next, I'm looking at my addition problem here. Addition, we're working it from left to right, where we start at 3, 8. And there's 3, 8 on our number line. In this case, our equation is saying 3, 8, plus 2 eighths. So in this case, we're moving to the right on our number line. There's plus 1 eighth, and there is plus 2 eighths. So we'll mark that on our number line. We'll draw our arrow, indicating that we're adding 2 eighths, and we'll circle that as well, because that's where we ended up. So 3 eighths plus 2 eighths does equal 5 eighths. And if we write out a number sentence, what would you write? We'd write this out. 3 eighths, when we add it together to 2 eighths, we get 5 eighths. Here is another problem. We have 3 fourths plus 3 fourths. Our denominator stays the same because we're talking about fourths. And 3 plus 3 is 6, or we have 6 fourths. Huh, we notice that 6 fourths actually is more than 1. Let's draw a number line to model what it is that we have done within this addition problem. Again, we started at 0. This time we'll mark the whole numbers 1, and we'll also mark the whole numbers 2. We were working with fourths. So in between each of the whole numbers, we'll divide it into four parts. 
Let's label those parts. Count with me. One fourth, two fourths, three fourths, one would be four fourths, and we have five fourths, which is also equal to one and a fourth, six fourths, seven fourths, and eight fourths, which is equal to two. Let's go ahead and mark those fourths on our number line as well. So when we're adding here again, we're showing, okay, here's three fourths, and they're asking us to add three fourths to that. One fourth, two fourths, and three fourths. Draw our arrow, indicate that we're adding three fourths. Remember when we're adding, we move to the right on our number line. One fourth, two fourth, three fourths in this particular case. And as we indicated in our number sentence, we end up at six-fourths. You'll also notice that six-fourths does equal, that's halfway in between, one and two. Six-fourths does equal one and two-fourths, which also equals one and one-half. So <clears throat> we write six-fourths here as one and two-fourths. We recognize that we can simplify that fraction, and we do so to indicate that it, the answer is one and one half. One of the most common mistakes is to forget to write that whole number when we're working through simplifying those fractions. So we showed how we could use a visual model as we are adding fractions or even when we are subtracting fractions. Go ahead and use a number line to solve this problem. Be sure to express your answer in simplest form as a mixed number. Pause the video. Did you start with a number line? Started with zero for sure. We have one, and then we also have two. It says three in the denominator. That means we are working with thirds, meaning you should have divided your number line into three parts in between each of those whole numbers, one, two, and three, so that we are marking one-third, two-thirds, one would be worth three-thirds, four-thirds, five-thirds, and two would be worth six-thirds. Two-thirds plus two-thirds, in this case we mark where it is that we start on our number line at two-thirds, and then we're adding two-thirds. Did you draw it like that there? Did you remember to label? And then did you remember to circle your answer? So two-thirds, another third would be to one, and then another third would be to four-thirds, which is also one and one-third. We're one-third away from that whole number of one. Four-thirds does equal one and one-third. Look over your work. Okay, it's your turn again. Go ahead and do this problem here. Utilize a number line to do your work. And then make sure to express your answer within simplest form. Okay, we start with zero and one as our whole numbers. We're working with six, so we will divide it into six parts. We'll mark each of those parts on our number line. One, six, two, six, three, six, four, six, and five, six. We'll start at five, six, and in this case, we're subtracting two, six. And subtracting two, six, we move to the left. One, six away, two, six away. Draw our arrow indicate that we're subtracting two six, place our point, and circle our answer. So five six minus two six does equal three six. And within simplest form, that would be equal to one half. That is halfway in between zero and one, where we divided the numerator and denominator by three. Did you remember to simplify? Did you mark all of those points on the number line? And you did move to the left because we were subtracting in this case. 
make sure to indicate how much you are subtracting as well. Read the whole number sentence with me again. 5, 6, minus 2, 6, where those denominators are the same, does equal 3, 6, which will equal 1 half, where we expressed our answer in simplest form. Let's go ahead and work through a couple more problems. Here we have 5 eighths plus 6 eighths. 8. That means our denominators are the same. We have the same units that we're looking at, eighths. So we can just add 5 and 6, which gives us 11. What we're going to do is that we're going to go ahead and show 11 eighths and how it is that we can use a number bond to break apart this number to show how many holes it's worth and what that fractional part would be. 11 eighths, one hole is worth 8 eighths. And how many more eighths make up 11 eighths? Right, 3 eighths. So we have one hole with 3 eighths, so that 11 eighths does equal 1 and 3 eighths. So when we're adding, we get an improper fraction we can use a number pond to decompose that number to know how many holes as well as that fractional part. Remember, 1 and 3 eighths there is a mixed number. Five fourths plus two fourths does equal seven fourths. Can we rewrite seven fourths as a mixed number? Seven fourths we can break that apart into its holes, which would be 4 fourths, and how many more fourths equals 7 fourths? Right, 3 fourths. So that 7 fourths does equal 1 and 3 fourths. Now, if we had 9 fifths, can you do that? Can you express it with its holes and its fractional parts? Pause the video while you do your work. For instance, we could have had 6 fifths plus 3 fifths equaling 9 fifths, and then we would have had to rewrite 9 fifths as a mixed number. So 9 fifths can be broken apart as 5 fifths and 4 fifths. And in doing so, we know that 5 fifths is equal to a whole, and then we still have 4 fifths as our fractional part. Read the whole number sentence. 6 fifths plus 3 fifths equals 9 fifths, which does equal 1 and 4 fifths.